here we go, this is my 21 stud flathead. Just dropped it in. Well, dropped it in, ready to get it running. If you look very carefully on this cylinder head, I don't know if that's in focus, it tells you the firing order. And what I'm going to do is show you how I, other people probably do it different, but how I'm going to work out what cylinder the engine is going to be firing on. I want it to be firing on number one at top dead centre. Now that firing order is 15486372. So when it's firing on number one, the valves should be rocking on number six, because that's like the opposite one. It's hard to explain, but like out of it's like number one and number five are sort of the opposite. So the fifth one in the order is from number one is number six. So this is, no, this is number six spark plug. I've already loosened it, so I can take it out easy. And when you take the spark plug out on a flathead, that valve there that you can see, I don't know if you can see it down the hole, it's got a light ring around it, the one that's on the right in this, in this uh, instance is the exhaust valve. And that exhaust valve is open. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the engine over until that one closes and the, the inlet valve just starts to open. Now I've got to do that in a bit of a tricky way on this car, I'll show you what I'm going to do. See, this is the only way I've got of turning it over at the moment, but this is the, I don't know if you've got enough light here, but this is the gearbox and I'm turning it over by it's engaged in top gear and I'm just turning it over gently like this. The axle's going around but that don't matter. About there, something like that. So let's have a look down the plug hole again. Okay, I've gone just fractionally too far there. I, you probably can't see it on the camera but the exhaust is shut and the inlet's just starting to open so I'll come back a little bit. Do it from this side to go back the other way no harm done doing this. So that has just, they're both closed now but I know they're rocking because the exhaust is just shut. So let's, there's a distributor down the front there, let's take the cap off. Now I've never used one of these before but I'm looking at that rotor arm, trying to hold it out of the way. And I can see it clearly, but you, you might not be able to see it on the camera, but that rotor arm is kind of looking at the sort of 10 o'clock position. The, you know, the brass end on it. Now, these caps are a bit of a nightmare. I'm not going to take that one apart, but I do have a, um, a crab cap. This is a crab cap. And it has the numbers marked. I'm just trying to go and get that in the light. And the one that's here at the 10 o'clock position is number one and that cap down there is going to be wired the same so that tells me that right now as this, mo as this is assembled up that it is going to spark on the number one cylinder so anyway that, I hope that might be helpful for anybody and uh, that's what I've just done to, to work out if I'm right or 180 degrees out. I had that distributor all the way apart and put it back together and there's a, if you take it right the way apart right down to get everything apart you can put it back together wrong so I just wanted to make sure it was going to be right. Anyway cheers for now bye.